little extra, this is a little extra bonus. Now this doesn't <coughs> actually count as, um, as basic interactive whiteboard training. This is like more exciting interactive whiteboard training. Um, there's also something called the magic pen. Now look along the, uh, the top, the top bar, right? And I want you to try and guess which one's the magic pen. Can you guess which one's the magic pen? The one with the sparkles, the one with the stars. Well, duh, of course, it's magic. It's got stars around it. So, um, <coughs> magic pen. Magic pen you need to pick with your finger. Um, and once you've got the magic pen picked, um, you use your finger as a magic wand. Now watch this. You'll notice I'm writing in joined up writing. And you'll see why in a sec. Oh, a bit early there. <laughs> <laughs> okay, great. So, um, magic pen does, um, does a, little, a little bit of magic. It disappears after 10 seconds. Um, you might think, oh, okay, that's a bit of a gimmick. But I've heard loads of ideas for using this. Um, people have used this in all sorts of memory games, like adding up numbers, you know, where they put a load of numbers up and then students have to, like, memorise them all. I've had people do verb endings where they go, uh, um, je, tu, vous, I was never any good at French. And then we go, um, and then they can go, uh, avoir. Okay, right. Avoir, je. Yes, you're more rubbish at French as well, je. Tu. Thank you very much. Vous. Okay. Yeah, okay, vous avez, yeah, very good. Okay, great. Have you remembered all of those? You're rubbish to start with. What's the one for je? Thank you very much. So um, I've seen stuff like that being done, which I thought was very neat. Um, while I've got a magic pen selected, I want to show you another little, um, another little thing. Can everyone see this? Because I've got to say, you don't really print your maps as well as we do here. Um, and, and the writing's a little bit small. Can everyone, um, can everyone see? OK. Um, I'm not sure if the person at the back can see it, so I'm just going to um, Focus in on government centre there. Um, with the magic pen, if you draw a square, um, you can get yourself a little magnifying glass. And this is quite a cool little magnifying glass. What you can do is you can move it up and down the... What do you call these lines? What's this yellow line? It's got orange line. Orange line. <laughs> I told you you didn't do maps very well. If you move um, the thing from the outside, if you grab it from the outside, it's, uh, it moves around. And if you grab it from the inside, you can change the size of the magnification. So, uh, so, but I find that if you do try and grab it from the inside, you have to really poke it uh, for it to work. So, um, so Christina did manage to do that. Um, and, you know, if you like, you can come and give that a go in a sec. So Magic Pen also um, does this. So earlier we done the square. Oops, that was a pretty bad square. It's almost as bad as Christina's. <laughs> so earlier on we done a square, and that gives us a magnification. And if we look really closely, we can see all of the, the Darjeeling going into, the, uh, into whatever you call that river. Um, and um, yes, uh, a circle gives you um, a spotlight. Um, in black and white, the spotlight doesn't work that well because you can't see the effect really all that well. Uh, but yeah, we can see it kind of blanks out the rest of it. And again, the same thing applies. If you move over here, we can see this dude ordering the destruction of tea and the English on the boats, screaming to add some milk or something. <laughs> um, okay, so, um, so again, it's, uh, you know, hold it on the outside to move it around, poke it on the inside to make it bigger or smaller. Simple. <laughs>